Hey guys, this is Kevin here. I'm going to do a quick uh, how-to on installing a TFTP server and upgrading Cisco wireless controller software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go out and TFTP or Google a TFTP server. I prefer TFTP uh, D32. It supports files over 32 meg. A lot of TFTP uh, servers do not support files larger than 32 megabytes and the Cisco firmware is well over 32 so make sure that you download a TFTP server that does support uh, large large files. Uh, you will notice there is two different versions here there is a 64-bit version and a 32-bit uh, version I'm running uh, Windows 8 64-bit so I'm going to download the 64-bit if you're not sure what version of uh, Windows you are running uh, you can check in your settings it will tell you or just download the 32-bit version it should work on a 64-bit uh, OS so the install goes uh, fairly quick downloads only a couple megs or half a meg uh, file now what's important here is when it installs uh, Windows 8 and I believe Windows 7 will actually prompt you to add firewall rules make sure that you allow the TFTP program through your firewall or it's not going to work now I also like to use uh, the C, uh, C drive TFTP folder. I create one and that's where I uh, configure the program to look for files. So once that's created you can go to uh, your file. I've already downloaded uh, 7.4 for the 5500 controller and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy that into uh, the TFTP uh, directory. Okay, so now once the file is uh, copied in there to the correct folder, go to your controller, log in, click on the tab or command uh, commands tab at the top, and you'll want to go in and highlight and copy and paste the name in uh, to the file. Uh, you want to select code uh, TFTP, insert your IP address, and once you do, it will begin uh, the download. When you select download at the top right. And I sped this up, so it's going to go real quick. But uh, you can see in the, the program that it does transfer the file. On the, uh, on the controller's web page, it actually will go through step by step and tell you what uh, is going on during the upgrade. So you can just kind of watch that. I sped this process up also. Uh, it took 15 minutes in total, so a lot of it was just sitting here watching this, this go by. Now, one thing that you can do is you can select Upload File on the left, and you can actually send your configuration to kind of back it up. So once it's done, it'll tell you to reboot. I'll go ahead and click on Upload and change it to Configuration, put my IP address in, name the file, and start the upload. Now, the upload goes really fast, so you'll actually, if you're not careful, you'll miss it on the TFTP program. All right, now that, that uh, I've got the config backed up, new software on it, I'm going to save and reboot. I uh, sped this up also, and when it comes back, you'll see, yep, it's on 7.4, so that's, that's all you need to do.